Hi all students in NA20, TE20A and TE20B. You are all part of the same project during the project weeks at Head Amazon Gymnasiet, which is really nice. Um, you have a task ahead of you to make an instruction video where you take a basic household project that possibly has not been released to you yet and you create it into something new. Now, to be able to make this video that you're going to do and then upload to YouTube, you need some basic information uh, on how to do this. So the following video that you are watching will contain three things. The first one is how to record from a PowerPoint presentation. The second one will be how to work with basic video editing in Windows Photos. And the third one will be how to upload a video to YouTube and how to create a playlist so that everyone can see it and that you will all be good to go for the competition. Now, feel free to use this material as many times as you like. And remember, these are the more basic instructions. Some of you might have worked a lot with this kind of stuff, so you might know more than what I'm instructing over here but these instructions are for you so that you feel confident that you have something to work with when it comes to producing video material. So I wish you the best of luck with your projects. I'm looking forward to see them and hopefully you can enjoy this video. Good luck. All right, so in this part of this instruction, I'm gonna talk about a little how to uh, manage your recordings and especially the instruction part. Because for your films that you're making, you might use your webcam or your uh, mobile phones to record yourself and doing certain parts of the task that you have. But uh, when it comes to making the instructions that are gonna be a part of your video, we highly recommend you to take photos and upload them into a um, PowerPoint and then record that PowerPoint. It is very easy. I'll show you how it's done. So first, go down here, go in PowerPoint. Now you can either yes, create a new one from the list that exists or you can use a pre-existing one. I'll show you through a pre-existing one right now. So I'll open this one. And to be able to make this work, I'm going to remove uh, the camera one second. So let's do like this. Uh, yep, now you can't see me. And what you guys want to do is go to Bildspiel when the presentation is done. All the pictures, all the text you need, when that's completed, go to Bildspiel. Uh, Spela in Bildspiel. You click that one. And it'll start looking like this. And now, uh, what is happening is you should always first check your settings that yeah we have the microphone and we have the webcam excellent that exists good now uh what we want to do is just start recording it so then you push this little button up here two one go and now you can see down here that it's recording excellent and then you just do your thing and go through your presentation however you want it. No more to it. When you're done, you push stop and you should be good to go. All right. So, and then you can push uh, start a Förhandsgranskningen and then you'll be able to see everything that happens in the recording. Uh, and then you just go out of it I hope and we should all be done and that's how it is supposed to work so nothing more to it than that it's very simple it's very easy and that's what we need so good luck hi everyone so in uh, this part of the clip we are going to look at how you can use Windows Photos for some basic video editing after you've finished with all your recordings. So it's very simple, 
yes, you have the program pre-installed on your computers. All you need to do is go down here, type in photos. That's the one you want. You click it, it opens. Up here, you'll see video editor. Click that one. Good. Now, you see I have done some things here, but what we want to do is new video project. You click it, and you're like, okay, test one, two, three, four, five, four, bleh, something like that. Yeah, that'll be good. That's the name. So, now we just have a blank canvas here, basically. Uh, so, what we need is to first find the clips that we've been working with, yeah? So, let's say I have done some pre recordings before, so I'll add them from this PC. I'll see where I got them. I have them here in my edits. And we'll do this one, and I want to open, let's say, this one and this one. So I'll mark both, I'll open. This might take some time, uh, since the files can be quite large. Uh, but it's just to be patient and wait while it is working. And there we go. Now, um, what I want first then is I want like a title page. When the movie starts, I want to be people to be able to see the heading, what I'm going to call it. So I'll click here, add title card. Uh, and then I see, all right, uh, I want to edit this. So I'll edit it, click on text and say, no, it shouldn't say title. It should say test. And I want it, boom. That's how I want it today. So then I click done. That's the first thing people are going to see, and I want them to see it for exactly two seconds, not more. Uh, then I also want uh, a credit page for uh, to show who's been working on it. I'll take another title card, and now I'll see, take the test one, or no, the title one, sorry. This one, uh, I'll edit it, and then we'll do simple, and then we'll say credits. Uh, because I'm the only one who's been working on this. And then I want it on simple, I want it in this layout, uh, and then it's done. And then maybe I want this a little bit longer, so people need to see me, so of course. Uh, and then that's done. Excellent. Now I need to get the proper videos in there that I've recorded, because otherwise it's not going to serve any purpose at all. So I'll just click and drag the first one, put it where I want it, and now it's in there. Then I also want the second one. I'll click and I'll drag it and I'll put it in there. Now, when I, since you can see down here, these are 16 minutes and 14 minutes long. I'm not gonna show you the entirety of those. Uh, but now it is done. And then you can just look through the entire thing and pr by pressing play and it'll play everything for you right here. Now, you can do some more things here. You can remove them, you can change backgrounds, you can cut. If you want to remove parts, you can resize and edit and see what you can add. There are some very nice uh, functions in this program. Uh, and that's up to you to play around with and see what functions best for you. But right now we have a working video that could be presented. And when you're done, or if you want to add some background music, that's possible too. Uh, but now when you're done, you click finish video, you choose what quality you want it in, uh, and then you click export. And it will look like this. You'll decide where you want to save it on your computer, what's going to be named, and then you click export. And then it's done. It might take some time for it to finish up while you're exporting it. So just wait, don't stress it, and that's it. Good luck. All right, so uh, when we now have completed both the, like, the recording and we have done our editing, we need to publish the video that we've made. And we're going to do so to YouTube, which is extremely simple. Uh, you all have Google accounts and YouTube, as a part of Google, are very, very connected. So all you do is you go to uh, YouTube, as you can see here, and then you make sure that you click up here and see that you're signed in and like, yep, I can see I'm signed in. You sign in with your Google account that you have. And then what you wanna do is click up here, 
Create. Skapa. Ladda upp video. Upload video. Now, this is nothing weird at all. Then we see here, oh, hey, here's a... Now I'm just going to choose the file that I want, but I can also just do like this. Uh, open up here. Uh, let's diminish it. Uh, and now we can see here are two videos that I created before that you've already seen. So how to edit in photos. Let's take that one since it's very short. Uh, you click it, you drag it up here, and you wait. Now, what we get here, it's uh, what do I want to be called? Yeah, it can be called how to edit in photos. Uh, a video about editing in Microsoft. To photos. There we go. And now it is uploading right now. Here, if we go down, if you have a miniature, uh, you can add a picture and that's going to be like the thumbnail of the picture when people search for it. There will be auto-generated thumbnails here that you can choose from if you want to. Uh, and they come from your own video. Now, you might also want it in a playlist, right? Uh, so it's easy to find. And then you just select one here. If you don't want one that you already have, uh, you can just create a new one. And uh, that we call, in this case, instructions. Uh, instructions. There we go. And I want it to be public. Uh, I want everyone to see it. I can just click Scopa. And now it is in instructions. Done. This video, is it appropriate for children? No, in this case, it says it's not. What that means, uh, then you can look into this. Uh, content made for kids. This like I'm not directing my content here towards children. That's why it's not clicked. So you should just have that one checked, and then it should be good. And now we can see that it has finished processing. You can then go down here to more alternatives. Fler alternativ. Videon innehåller betald marknadsföring, eh, produktplacering, sponsring eller produktstöd. No, it does not. Keep that out. Here we go, though. Tags. If someone search for a tag on YouTube, I want to, them to be able to find my video. And I want that to be uh, video editing. Uh, should be one. And then you add a comma after the tag. And it's a tag. That's how it works. And you can just keep doing that. In this case, the main language would be English. Yes. Um, afterwards, if I want subtitles, I can work with that. I'm not going to do it now. It's not required for you guys. Uh, now I can select when it was recorded. It was recorded on the 7th of November. Um, and then this, and is it going to be, yeah, it's in Udbildning. That's where I want it. Excellent. Um, and then you can do some other settings here with comments and grading, but Nothing required. Then you just click next. Uh, if you want to add like a card or make like an ending screen, then you can do that here. You've probably already done this in the uh, editing part, so we don't need this right now. And then you click next. And then you can choose what you want to do with it. Do you want it to be, uh, do you want to schedule it uh, for when it's supposed to be released, or do you want to publish it now? In the case that you guys are going to need, since you're competing, uh, you need to have them public, authentically. So you check that one, and you don't need to do this. Uh, if you do this, uh, you can all watch it together, the people who are might be interested. But you don't need to do that. When done, you just click Publish, and it should be done. And that is it. Good luck!